Okay, so today I'm going to show you the Dyson DC-16s, also known as the Dyson Route 6. The orange one on the right is the basic one, the most famous, well-recognized, very first cordless Dyson ever made. And the one on the left in the gold with the mini motorized head is the animal version, also known as the Dyson Motorhead Route 6 DC-16. So I'm going to show you the orange basic one first because it's exactly the same as that, apart from a few minor things I'll show you later. But here it is, the Dyson DC-16. This is your charger. It just slides into the battery, as you can see. The red light illuminates to show you that the machine is charging. And when it goes green, it shows you that it's fully charged. And this little bracket right here is your wall mount. So two screws in the wall. You just slide this thing on and until it clicks into place, right? You can do it on either side, by the way. But when the machine's wall mounted, let's say on the right hand side, you put the machine on the wall mount and then your machine is wall mounted like that. It's not like this, not like that. It's on sideways, so that's quite unusual, isn't it? That's the information sticker on the charger as well. Now, the machine's got the crevice tool. This is the crevice tool from a DC35, 34, that kind of design, but it still fits. And this is your combination tool, which is the same as a DC24, but the DC16 style was a little bit different cosmetically, but it's the same thing pretty much. So you've got a soft dusting brush that slides down, and when you lift it up, you've got a large opening for large debris and a little Vela strip there to pick up lint. So this is what it sounds like. It's got the trigger as well, just like most Dysons have. But the motor in this is actually a brush motor. It's not Dyson's own brushless motors or digital motors. It's a proper old school motor. But the thing is, right, this machine was loved and hated at the same time. Yes, it was probably the most powerful cordless vacuum ever for its time back in 2006, but the runtime was only six minutes long. However, the reason for that is because the motor was really power guzzling for its time and battery technology wasn't as advanced back then. So that's the best they could do really. But this is the battery here. It slides off. You just push that button. It's not a genuine battery, by the way, because all the genuine batteries now, they all ran out of juice. They don't hold the charge anymore, but that's what it looks like. It just slides on. There's a different DC-16 model that fits. So the orange DC-16, the animal, which is the gold one over there. Izzy Mayek is the pink one and the DC-16 car and boat is the blue one. And it came with a different charger because you could plug it into your boat and your car as well. So let's pop that back on. I've only got one battery between the two, so I'm alternating between the two models. But yeah, it's quite a large machine, but yeah, there's a green light showing you that it's on and functioning. And to empty it, you press down this red button right here and your bin flap opens up. I like how it's nice and floppy. It's really simple. It's not like a stiff bin flap where you're just prone to breaking. You never really see anything break on these, to be honest, apart from the battery or the charger. But these machines were tanks. You never really see the motors go on these. Yeah, they are loud, but they they have a place in my heart. They are very nostalgic for me. I remember when these first came out, I was like, ooh, little Dyson. And yeah, the bin also does come off. It's a little clip right here. And then you can take the bin off for washing. You can't take the cyclones apart on these, unfortunately, because they mold together. But you can remove the little fine dirt collection chamber, just on clips, and that's literally it. And the cyclone does come off as well. You just press this button right here to access your filter. These two screws don't do anything. It's just still molded together. Here's your filter, just a pre-motor filter. It's a nice design, actually. I like how it's a thick sponge, so it will absorb a lot of dust before it entirely clogs up. And it's really good for airflow because of that. You got a seal around here as well. It was not the best seal in the world actually, but it is a foam seal. It does do something. And there's a motor in there as well. The Impala is huge for a cordless Dyson because obviously it's not a digital motor. Now, pop the filter back in. There's also another filter on the back as well. The post motor filter's right here. So you just unclip the vent and there's your little foam. And that's basically it. That's the Dyson DC-16 Route 6. Now let's show you the animal model. So here's the animal version. It's exactly the same vacuum, to be honest. The only difference is the color and the mini motorized head. Let's take a close look at this. So you can remove the end cap right here to remove the brush bar, it just slides out. And here's the rating sticker for it. It only consumes six watts of power. So that's very, very low. The brush bar isn't anything special. It's, it's basic, it's all right. It doesn't do much, but I guess for its time, it was decent enough. And here's the power connectors. It just mates up with this right here. That's your power socket, which the standard DC-16 doesn't have. This one actually sounds different though compared to the orange DC-16. So listen to it. 
I'm not sure if it's a bad motor, but this one sounds like it's running slower. Right, now let's show you the machines in action on the stairs. hands aching now because of this stiff trigger. All right, let me just do a bin dump really quickly. So that's what we picked up with the DC-16's motorized head. Quite a good amount of fluffy dirt and quite a lot of grit as well, which is impressive for something like this. Okay, now let's do the edges with the clean, basic DC-16 and see how much it pick up on an empty bin. <laughs> yeah, just for the edges, that's also a good amount of dirt. And then we can put the bristles down and then use that for dusting. 